ओके हाय एवरीवन दिस इज नाम जोशी एंड बिफोर आई स्पिल बीन्स अबाउट माय सेल्फ यू ऑल नीड टू हेल्प मी आउट इन दिस सो ऑल राइट एवरीवन क्लोज योर आईज वेल डोंट वरी वी नॉट गोइंग टू मेडिटेट we are just going to do a small exercise so close your eyes and think about the life of an engineer what all does an engineer do how can one become an engineer okay all right everyone you can open your eyes now now according to me i am sure that almost more than half of you must have pictureized a boy being an engineer rather than a girl being an engineer so that is the reason today i am right in front of you do you know that only about a quarter of stem workers that is 20 to 28% consists of women as opposed to 72% of men in the stem field when i talk about stem i mean engineers scientists architects mathematicians etc and when i talk about society or the mindset it is understood that only males can dominate such fields but i stand apart and i disagree with this because when we are living in 21st century where we talk about equipping our children with the six c's then why in this age and day we are not able to achieve gender balance gender equality so as far as the stream of education is concerned we have two main streams that is medical and engineering and we the people have already set up perspect perceptions that medical for girls and engineering for boys so i have started believing in this motto that one can only define success on his or her own terms and achieve them by their own rules and live a life you are proud to live so today i am here to share my story about how i got inclined to stem so my parents are from the field of it and if i go by people's perception it's quite obvious that i will pursue the same field as its genetics but my purpose has always been very clear that why do we see very less girls in this field you will see boys dominating the field of computer sciences and the field of it so let me give you one example one day during an unplanned interaction with my teacher i got glued to a game called minecraft i had heard that the game is used for gaming but soon realized that it can be used for serious education also and there i was right into it and soon got an opportunity to conduct a workshop in collaboration with finland for a christmas project and was acknowledged for creating a jingle in minecraft i could see boys around me playing multiplayer and hooked for number of hours on another gaming platform and then is when i felt amazed and proud of myself and this helped me in gaining more confidence and in pursuing and following my heart that i can do it even being mocked after down at being a girl but somewhere deep down in my heart i did feel bad about it but i never gave up i took it as a challenge and if you master a challenge you surely win an opportunity so suna god bestowed me with the best of opportunities and i started teaching teachers all over the world using game based learning and creating course material in minecraft i really enjoyed visualizing all this and it did not stop here well this was a new beginning on its own when i got a chance to meet my fellow students in finland and was invited as the keynote speaker to be part of the chaos 2019 event where i was fortunate to teach various professors educators and experts of the university it was indeed an amazing experience and being the only girl winning the top tech savvy student of india 
by Wiz Juniors was my first threshold and there was no looking back. And finally came the oh my God moment when I met Mr. Anant Maheshwari, President Microsoft India. He ignited a spark in me. He was super excited and did burst out into laughter when I told him that I wanted to work for Microsoft. So just understand that your dreams only turn true when you believe in them. And one such dream of mine was meeting Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, a man with excellent leadership and deliver skills. I was in cloud nine, or I would rather say on the top of the world and my happiness knew no bounds when I met him. I believe that life doesn't stop for anyone or no, should we stop living life amidst these corona times. So let us all smile more and worry less. And to keep that smile on my face right now, as you can see, is while communicating, meeting people, learning and exploring new things. And not just this, collaborating at an international level, being a part of an internship program, learning new courses like graphic designing and con conducting interesting tutorials for students as well as teachers across the globe helped me in utilizing my time to the best of my ability. And as it is said, a healthy body lives in a healthy mind, as well as to be able to enhance my critical thinking. I practice yoga every day in the evening as it helps me to stay away from neg negative vibes and I remain calm and happy. The best part of my day is sitting on the couch with a book in my hand as books are my best friends. Creativity is contagious. So pass it on girls. I sketch and draw while other people bite their nails. So I feel so proud to be a young entrepreneur and that too being a girl. So this is me in short, a happy go lucky bubbly girl enjoying life at, at its fullest at the age of 13 by giving equal time and importance to everything in my life. So do remember your skills are going to get along with you forever in your life. I do attend my online classes and complete the work assigned. I am more interested in enhancing my knowledge rather than craving or bothering about the marks. So I wish my purpose has opened your minds and given you a wider picture that girls can do more, they deserve equal opportunities, they can learn more, can soar greater heights, and they should never be looked down upon. I am grateful that I have carved a niche for myself. And I would just like to conclude by saying that age or gender is not a barrier to change the world. So all of you right over here, respect and motivate girls as life without girls is boring and competing with the girls of 21st century is challenging. And before I end up, we girls must have all the fun. We will and shall continue enjoying life. And I guess STEM will be a thousand way ahead when we have smarter and talented girls across the world. So I'm sure that I have answered your question. And why shouldn't girls have all the fun? Thank you.